Corn is enjoyed in a variety of manners across the globe. From popcorn to corn flour, this cereal grain is amazing. We are used to stepping into any supermarket and seeing these golden cobs of goodness stacked one on top of the other, ready to purchase. American farmers have been able to produce a staggering 300 plus million tons of corn by adopting practices that we are going to look at today. What do farmers do that allows them to produce so much corn? And how is it cultivated? Let's put on our gardening clothes, grab our tools, and find out. Corn is an amazing superfood that is consumed around the globe nowadays due to the advent of modern technology that has increased the amount of produce farmers have been able to cultivate. Corn was domesticated about 9,000 years ago by South Americans, who had grown an early predecessor of corn, called Teosinti grass. This grass with small cereal grains was selectively bred to produce the modern ear of corn that we all enjoy. Corn, although domesticated in the South Americas, was introduced to Europe by Christopher Columbus, who then began the cultivation of the plant in the European continent. Corn is now grown globally from frigid Canada to the balmy shores of Argentina. This crop is grown for its wide variety of applications, from being a staple food source high in starch content to being used to produce food agents like high fructose corn syrup, which is used in sodas, sweeteners, and other confectionery items. Even though the South Americas started farming corn first, America overtook them and is the biggest producer of corn in the world currently. America produces a staggering 300 million tons of corn annually over a jaw-dropping 32 million hectares of land. It is the second most cultivated crop in the USA, with tomatoes coming in at first. Do you know how that brings in revenue to the country? An astounding $770 million per year. And this number is estimated to keep rising each year. Farms around the USA follow the same farming techniques as corn, is not a plant that is very delicate in nature. Its tough, resistant plant body has allowed it to adapt to the various climates across America. Corn cultivation is mainly done in the Corn Belt of America. The Corn Belt is a vast swathe of undefined land, including states from Iowa to the more remote areas of Wisconsin. Harvesting in America is done during the early to late hours of the morning in some parts, while the other states harvest them at night to avoid the heat. So how is corn grown by farmers in the USA? It usually begins in the spring season, which marks the start of the corn season. Corn farmers wipe the dust off the machines that were left in barns for the off-season and get to work on the field. The farmers start by planting corn seeds into the ground. The farmers first prepare the ground by tilling it using machines like the 2230LL Level Lift Cultivator by John Deere, a wonderful piece of technology that makes the lives of farmers easier by allowing them to till the soil with minimal effort and maximum efficiency. The seeds are then brought in by a seed cart, which is then filled into large seeding machines. But before they are loaded, the seeds are sprayed with a pesticide to ensure that no unwanted pests destroy the crop before it can even sprout. Using these same machines, the seeds are planted into the ground and are buried under the fertile soil by another part of the machine that washes over the seed. The seeds are then sprayed with a light amount of fertilizer and then left to sprout. By the time the summer season rolls around the corner, the field will look green with new corn sprouts that are ready to be tended to. Farmers take this opportunity to spray some more fertilizer. Fertilizers like manure are usually used on the field to replenish its fertility during the off-season, while chemicals like anhydrous ammonia or urea are used on the plants to ensure that it grows properly. Farmers usually employ the help of crop dusters for this job, a small plane that can carry a load of fertilizer that can be sprayed over the field for more even distribution. After this, the field is weeded and tended to by the farmer before the final leg of the corn's growth phase. Come the fall season, the corn is finally ready to be harvested. Nowadays, you will rarely find people harvesting crops by hand. It is considered a rather inefficient way in today's modern world. When it becomes time to harvest the corn, farmers use large machines called combines that rapidly and efficiently uproot the plant without causing any damage to it. Corn is harvested in two manners depending on what purpose it is going to be used for. Corn that is harvested for local use is separated into individual kernels and stored in large storage buildings called silos. But before it is packed into a silo, it may be passed through a dryer to ensure that the kernels have an optimum moisture level. Silos can store food year-round due to the dry atmosphere inside it. It prevents any bacteria or mold from forming. The stored corn is shipped to different companies where it is processed and packed into packets and tins, 
and made into other different products for the American populace to consume. Corn that is harvested for export, on the other hand, is usually stored as a full cob. The corns are usually packed on the farms themselves and sent for export. When it reaches its target destination, the corn is processed there and made into products that are enjoyed by people. Do you know that around 13% of the corn that is harvested annually in the U.S. is shipped to other countries? How interesting! Why is the demand for corn so high in the U.S. then? And where is all the corn that is harvested going? Well, if you take a close look, you'll find it almost everywhere. For example, if you take a carbonated soda right now, you will be able to see that one ingredient used in its manufacture is high fructose corn syrup. That's right, your favorite soft drink has traces of corn in it. Corn has also been established as a good source of biofuel, so perhaps the stove that you cook on is powered by corn as well. So you can see now that the big $700 million industry is one that has applications not just in the food industry, but many others that control various facets of our lives. The harvest of all produce in the nation is overlooked by the United States Department of Agriculture. It is their National Agricultural Statistical Service that processes the amount of corn that is harvested yearly, and it is done using a specific unit of measurement called bushels. One bushel is approximately equal to 56 pounds or 35 liters. This method of measuring originates from Celtic roots. Produce was then measured by volume and not by weight. You might naturally ask, why did they measure by volume and not by weight? This was done in times when unfair trade practices were rampant, so to curb this they started measuring produce by volume and not by weight to ensure that farmers or buyers were not being tricked by adding more or less weight to the corn. Corn cultivation continues to grow in the U.S. where it is one of the main agricultural crops of the country. Using a combination of modern technology and agricultural expertise, farmers are now yielding more crops than ever before. It has been growing so much that the annual yield is expected to grow by 3.7 bushels per acre. Due to efforts by the American farming class, the world is able to enjoy an abundant harvest of corn every year. So if you liked this video exploring how farmers in the U.S. are able to harvest more corn than ever before, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest in farming. What is your favorite way of consuming corn? Let us know down in the comment section how you think a cob of corn is enjoyed best.